Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're going to have a bit of an update on the cannabis sector here. So about a month ago, three or four weeks ago, um, I was saying that I, th I have a very strong feeling uh, based on the charts that the cannabis sector has, has reached its bottoms and it's about time that they perk up. So I used this one, this this is the main chart that I use as a bit of an overview for the cannabis sector. This is uh, Aurora Cannabis. It's it's a stock on its own right. It's not, it's not like a, an index of cannabis or anything like that. But it, it's the oldest chart that I could find and, uh, and it kind of references the uh, the peak the parabolic the euphoria and then the entire thing collapsing in on itself uh, and and then within this uh, idea of using this one specific chart as an idea of where, where the you know if we've bottomed as a whole then diversify a little bit out of just not just aurora cannabis but i've i found another cannabis stock a uk stock which is quite new uh, it's a penny stock essentially uh, and uh, and basically what this means is you buy into something like this uh, not just on the chart alone I mean I've looked into the business model which I think is quite good uh, and, and emphasize whatever the cannabis sector is going to do now both of these have worked out quite well since that first initial video that I made again this is the higher risk one because it's uh, low liquidity low market cap you can pump and it dumps just like any shit coin really and um, but so far I mean just in the last week alone it's done over a 30% move uh, yeah about 36% uh, move in a three uh, was it was a six day period it does look to me like the bottom's in and the chart is suggesting that that is also the case uh, again that is the same with uh, Aurora Cannabis we see for the first time a weekly uh, we've not closed this week yet but uh, we will do today close this week above the 20 weekly this is a change of behavior and there's a long way to go for this to perk itself up and I'm not suggesting by any means that it's going to go all the way back up to its previous highs I am looking at this as in a bottom and then uh, we'll hopefully if we catch the lows you can hold this stock for a prolonged period of time months years uh, to see how how the business actually takes it uh, and again safe in the knowledge that you are at least close enough to the bottom within a 50% range I have to say though because it's still very volatile um, so yeah uh, just a bit of an update and, and one thing I really do want to stress to everybody is that you know I know that this is a crypto channel and we make all our money from crypto but there's been so much money been made from crypto this just in the last 12 months and uh, never mind the you know this entire bull market if you want to really be serious about investing and trading then you would diversify out of not just a single type of uh, assets like cryptocurrencies you would move into other areas like stocks commodities uh, and, and this way on a day like today when you look at the crypto market and it's down it's not the be all and end all there are certain other areas that work completely different this is the beauty of diversifying I know everybody wants to diversify their crypto portfolio but what's the point of that if the entire market largely moves as one you want to diversify into other areas uh, and there are so many other areas with other opportunities like I say with lots of stocks and even commodities as well so um, I just wanted to put that across and this is why I'm doing these videos now on stocks is because we are likely approaching the peak of a bull market we're going to go into a, a, a bull run I would expect within the next well possibly four to six weeks and that might even mark the absolute top may not there could be more and I would I'd like to see that um, but uh, being as conservative as I am uh, I, I do feel as though that the the, uh, the top may be coming in you know within oh, let's just say within a few months time okay uh, with some of that profit, I'm not saying with all of it, but with a portion of the profit that you make, and again, you should be taking profit on a regular basis if if, if you are serious about trading or or even just investing. You don't want to be having all your eggs in one basket, all in at all one time. You should be thinking about taking some of that profit and putting it into some stocks and shares. You don't have to immediately throw all your money into a stocks and shares. But you can credit an account and get ready for the opportunities that present themselves, like these, for instance, and like several others that I present on this channel, and will continue to present more and more stocks on this channel. Because if we do enter a bear market for crypto, which I think that we probably will at some point next year, then it's time to hibernate from that market altogether and focus on other areas which aren't in a bear market and that do offer good long term rewards, like something like the cannabis sector. And again, you know, there's a lot of criticism about the cannabis sector being, you know, overhyped and stuff. It certainly was, but it's not now. It certainly isn't now. It had its peak, it had its euphoria, it had its FOMO, 
and then it had its demise and now it's turning around and again this is just one of many stocks that I've got on, on, on in my crosshairs obviously I, I bought these I own these these are working out well there's a number of other ones that have worked out are working out well and there's a, a whole range of ones which I'm waiting for the perfect or close to a perfect entry point so I would suggest you have a good hard think about getting into stocks and shares and commodities and I've got a link in the description for a free trade, which is what I use to do it. And it's all, like I say, it's the cheapest, easiest platform for you to use. Um, it's so, and that's why I'm presenting it to you. Because if, you, if you're brand new to this, you don't want to be paying overheads for uh, having an account. You also don't want to be using derivatives uh, like you would do on eToro, for instance, or Robinhood, or Plus500, all these sorts of things. You want to buy and hold and forget about these in a simple investment strategy. Anyway, I'm going to leave it with you there, but thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.